Hey everybody, it's Steve here, and uh, welcome to, well, once we get past that, <laughs> okay, I guess I started this pre <laughs> preemptively anyway, welcome to Mappy. Um, now, this is on the uh, Wii uh, Arcade, and what they're trying to do is make it look like an arcade game, which is cool, but that means that the screen is kind of narrow, and you know, it's kind of thinner on uh, my TV screen, so I don't know what it's going to look like when I put it on YouTube, but anyway, we'll hope for the best. Um, the premise uh, here is that Mappy is a mouse who is a police officer, and it's up to him to retrieve items that were stolen uh, by a bunch of uh, you know evil cats, basically. This screen here is showing you like a little tutorial. Your method of transportation around the cat's house is going to be the trampolines. Uh, you can also open doors to knock. Uh, you can smack enemies in the face with with doors. There's also what are called microwave doors, which will um, kind of zap away all the enemies on a certain level of the house. <clears throat> um, the items that you have to retrieve, there's um, there's five items. There's two of each on each level. If you should get um, both of the same item back to back, you get a bonus. If you get all of um, the items in order of ascending value, um, you're going to get um, a lot more points. So what you're going to want to do I'm only going to do it on this first level because honestly, after that, it gets way too difficult to do it. Um, what you're going to want to do is get the radio, both of the radios, then both of the TVs, computers, paintings, which look like the Mona Lisa, uh, and then the safes. And right there is 8,500 points if you can do it in that order. Um, easier said than done. <laughs> but uh, while you're on the trampolines, you're safe. Um, you can pass enemies like in the air, like right there, and they can't harm you there. Only at, only when you're on the floor can they harm you. Um, they're tricky though. Sometimes you gotta like fake out the uh, the enemies in order to get them to go. If the, you're both on the trampoline, you're gonna want them to pass you by, basically. Um, the only way that you can really get killed here is if you get cornered if you have an enemy you know no more doors left to use and you got an enemy on either side of the the, the, uh, the platform that you're on um, <clears throat> this does not mean that you can just keep bouncing on the trampoline indefinitely um, if you I believe it's three times uh, if you bounce on the trampoline three times in succession without ever getting off of it it will break and if you fall down to the bottom you know, through the floor, uh, you're gonna lose a life, so try not to do that. Keep moving, basically. Um, this game does come down to, uh, just moving. You know, don't stop moving. Other things are gonna change as we progress, um, but we'll talk about that when the time comes. The music in this game is just so catchy. Again, it's back in the days where, you know, some games just had one, one theme that played throughout the whole game, but it's a catchy tune, which if you listen to it long enough, it would probably drive you insane, but bonus round. Um, these, you've got to do perfectly. There's no room for error. You've got to make every bounce count. Um, there's no timer, so what you have to do is listen to the music. It's kind of like musical chairs, only with balloons. Um, when the music stops, you're out of time. Make sure you bounce off the walls there to break those uh, the kind of trampolines that are in the middle of the level. Because you really are going to... They, they give you just enough time. You've got to do this flawlessly. And it looks like I've got it. See, the music's almost done. Hurry, Mappy. That big balloon at the bottom, if if you're running low on time and um, you have, you're, you're not going to get them all, go for the big balloon because that one's worth 2000 If you should get all... Every balloon, you get an extra 5000 for a grand total of 10000 extra points. And that also gave me an extra life, so we're in pretty good shape here. Things change a little bit here. Um, we've got additional trampolines, like in the middle of the house, or kind of like the middle of the level. Uh, the attic also opens up. <clears throat> now, there's nothing up there. There's no real reason to go up there, um, unless you're really, you know, in a pinch, basically, and you need to get away from the enemies. Oh, I should have gone for that. Um, that's another thing is that if the red cat is hiding behind one of the objects that you need to collect, you can go ahead and grab it and 
you get uh, additional points for kind of catching the cat in the act, so to speak. But, um, alright, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good here. Um, anything different here? No, nope, just more of the same. Um, eventually there's going to there's gonna be bells on the sides, which those are always fun. That's a good way to rack up points. As you can see, the enemies can't turn around. Once they're on a platform, they can only keep moving in the same direction. Um, if they encounter a door, they'll turn around. A closed door, they'll turn around. But other than that, you know, um, you can like walk right behind them and, and you're fine. Because they can't turn around. They will get faster. Um, like right now, they're kind of moving at the same speed as Mappy, but um, later in later levels, they will move a little bit faster and uh, actually be able to catch up with you, so that adds a little bit more difficulty to it. Oh, see? There and there you go. I got trapped right in between the two of them. So, what else is going on? Um, I already recorded... You, you can see my high score there. I already did one recording of this, but I thought, you know what? I can do better than that. Um, I'm starting to think that the, uh, the videos of, like, Dig Dug and Pac-Man and Galaga that I, that I put up last, this, this week, that I kind of just rushed them. I kind of just, like, recorded them. Bam, there you go. They weren't the best, um, performances, so to speak. Here's an example. I mean, I'll, I'll show you what's up in the attic. Nothing. <laughs> well, no, that was stupid. Um, that I probably could have done a lot better, but then I tell myself, you know what, we're just having fun here, so who cares, right? Um, don't need perfection. It sucks that I lost a life there when I only had one more object to get. But, um, after this should be the next bonus round. Again, even those get a little bit more difficult. So, yeah, I, I did a recording of this. Eh, wasn't too pleased with it. I think I can do better. So here we are again. So a lot of what I've just got done saying in this video, I've already said once before. And if it sounds really, you know, like I'm just going through the motions when I'm talking. Oh, jeez. See, yeah, they're speeding up a little bit. I might not even make it to the next bonus round. I might just have to scrap this video, too, because um, I have to at least beat that high score up there. I've got to at least do that. <coughs> so, this week's been kind of crazy at work, um, but I just got home, and um, I my week is done. Uh, got three days off. It was just a crazy week. I overslept this morning. Here's the bonus round. Um, not by much, but it was enough to... Basically, at work, you've got five minutes. You know, I'm supposed to be there at six, but as long as I get there by 6.05, I'm not considered late. Um, I got there at 6.11, so I uh, missed a balloon. I meant, oh, I'm going to miss two of them. Maybe not. Of course, it doesn't matter now. Once you, I would never get that one anyway. Once you miss one, just keep going. And at the very least, get the blue balloon because, it's, like I said, it's worth 2000 I'm going to get what I can here, but... Yeah. So, I won't get the perfect bonus, but... I'll get something. <laughs> so anyway, kind of the rule there is that you're allowed to be, you know, quote, late. You know, three times in six months. This is, I know it's the third time that I have been late, which kind of annoys me to use that word because maybe I'm justifying it, but, I mean, my god, like, today was 11 minutes, okay, and the one time it was only six, that's what really kills me, is that one time I was just six minutes late, but I counted it. Um, the only downfall is that come next, in a couple months when I'm going to be, you know, trying to get that scholarship for school through work, is that you've got to have a, a clean record, so to speak. And um, I, I'm going to have to look back through my old time slips and find out. There's an example of the bell. I just got a lot of them there. It just stuns them. Um, and if you take too long, um, you get the hurry message. The enemies really speed up. I think an additional enemy, if you take too long, will come out and start harassing you. But, uh, yeah, things are getting a little bit more frantic here. I think I've used that word in, like, every video I've put up this week, frantic. Things get more frantic. I don't know, it's, just, it's, it's one of those words that I use, I don't know. Saying that things are frantic. 
think some words are funny. When you, when you say certain words enough times, they start to sound really silly and stupid. I guess it applies, but it doesn't really apply to every word, you know? But frantic would have to be one of those words. Anyway, now I'm just talking about nothing. Let's, oh, let's hit the bell. Yeah. And if you hit, get the red cat caught in there, that's, that's an extra bonus. We're racking up the points. Feeling good about this one. This is this will definitely be the one that I upload. So, you know, hurry. When I only had one object left to get, it's telling me to hurry. When I'm literally like, you know, less than a second from finishing the level. Gotta love it. Ugh. Kind of. I'm, I'm not like one to burp, but I, I I actually did just a little while ago, and I feel like I can do it again. I got some issues going on today. Oh, might as well get the bell. Oh, gotta love it. Anyway, that's kind of all I got. Um, I, I don't know. I'm on my last life here. I don't know how much farther I'm gonna get as things get more frantic. You know, frantic. Hurry. It's even more frantic. I'm losing my mind. Oh my god, just shut up. Uh, I'm overworked. I'm overtired. I'm just glad that, uh, that it's my so-called weekend. I never know what to call it. Oh, could I actually, is this the last thing I have to get right here? Might as well get the bell. No. Oh, no, 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 no. There's the... There's the TV over here. Hurry, hurry! Oh, Mappy, are you serious? Well, that sucks. Anyway, um, how often do you get to see this? Um, you're gonna get to um, watch me put my initials in. You know, thrilling, I know, right? Um, you know, call me a geek, call me whatever. I, back in the day, there was nothing like playing a, a, an arcade game and getting a high score and putting your initials in. It, j it just made you feel special somehow. At least it did for me. But I didn't have much else going on in my life to make me feel special. So I had, you know, put my initials on a arcade machine made me feel special. Go figure. Anyway, um, that's it. That's my high score. Um, my highest level, too, as you can see. Uh, level 10. Anyway, everyone take it easy. Have a good day. Peace.